President Mahmoud Buhari's participation in the 35th Ordinary Session of the AU Heads of State and Government began last Thursday. On the sidelines of the summit, the President held a bilateral with the Palestinian Prime Minister, Mohammed Shatiaye, with both leaders discussing the need to continue to pursue peace and progress in Africa. President Buhari assured the Palestinian Prime Minister that he would not just pursue peace in Nigeria, but in other parts of the world by consistently pushing for justice, fairness and inclusiveness in global affairs. During his meeting with Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, President Buhari commended Mr. Ahmed's efforts at maintaining peace and unity in his country, as well as his dedication to ensuring fairness and justice in development. Both leaders agree that African growth and development will require strong visionary leadership that caters for the needs of the people and effectively strengthens institutions that encourage peaceful coexistence while providing dissenters to conflicts and coups. Just before his departure from Addis Ababa, the president had a private audience with the UN's Deputy Secretary General, Amina Mohammed. This year's theme at the AU was building resilience and nutrition on the African continent, accelerate the human capital, social and economic development. Senegal's President Macky Sall, who becomes the AU's chairperson this year, in his address said leaders need to step up efforts and strengthen the spirit of solidarity to overcome once and for all the coronavirus and also ensure the economic recovery of countries and ensure a better future of the planet. The Africa Union has come under criticism. It has taken little decisive action in the face of six coups or attempted coups in Africa over the past 18 months, and the power grabs were high on the agenda. While the bloc did move to suspend Burkina Faso, Mali and Sudan following military takeovers, it's not clear the ban has had any effect on the country's new leaders. According to the AU Commission Chair, Musa Faki Muhammad, the security situation in Africa requires a bloc taking a new approach. It called for more active inter-African solidarity. Attention also turned to the civil war in Ethiopia, even as the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for a ceasefire. Finally, Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed called for a permanent seat for Africa on the UN Security Council and urged the AU to form a continental media house to counter what he called negative media representation of Africa.